Hello and welcome to another week of Sambo I Racing. It's week four, season three, 2024. We are obviously in the Formula V at Summit Point Motorsports Center for another week in the schedule. It's a tiny bit different uh, conditions from last season. The best time I've been able to put in was a 26.9. I think it was a 26.2 last time. So if you're more interested in ultimate speed, go click on my other video. But this is for the conditions for this week. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, grab a beer, sit down. What we do is a breakdown lap and then I go full speed from Chase Camp and then full speed again from the cockpit with the driving line on. Enough of that, let's start the lap. <laughs> Right, so before we start, as always, I loaded this test session directly from the V schedule, so the track conditions should be similar to how we're racing this week. As we start the lap, we're in fourth gear, we're over on the left-hand side, I've got a bit of a tailwind down the straight. I've got my brake bias four clicks back, and what I'm looking for is this kink in between the two cone and the one cone, a bit of a kink on the left-hand side, that's going to be my braking marker, so as I get there, I'm going to brake quite hard in a straight line, as always. Wipe off as much speed as we can whilst we're making full use of the grip. Up to about 90%. I'm going to slowly trail that all the way off. Still on the brake, still trailing it off. Down towards the apex, and then we're going to have an early um, acceleration just before the apex here. Down to third gear, up to 100%. And I'm just going to hold that over to the right-hand side. And now we're on the gas quite a while so that's an important corner up to fourth gear turn three we want a nice wide entry we're going to start turning in and we're just going to kiss the barest of kisses of the inside curb we're going to exit nice and wide but without going on the sand back over to the left hand side making sure that you're making full use of the track back over to the right we don't actually want to hit this inside curbing. And we're looking for the second braking zone, which is the last set of mud splatters on the road there. So if you have your graphics setting differently to me and you don't have any mud splatters, then use that tree on the right-hand side. So as we get right over to the last set of mud splatters, I'm going to brake again in a straight line, pointing towards the apex but not fully at it, up to about 80%. Again, we're trying to brake as much in a straight line as possible. We're going to trail that off as we look to go towards the apex, still trailing it off in fourth gear, and only when we're ready to get back on the throttle, we give it a big blip, drop it down into third gear, and we're wanting to just give this inside curb just a little kiss. We don't want to go raving over it, but just giving it a little kiss, and now we're going to get back over to the left-hand side, and the final bit of braking, it's only a little touch, a little dab of the brake here, and again, I use these mud splatters. If you don't have the mud splatters on your graphic setting, then you can use the uh, opening in the tire wall there on the left. So as we get there, we're just going to blip up to about 30% very briefly, immediately trail that off, leaving it in third gear, getting back on the throttle nice and early because we're going to be on throttle all the way from here to the finish line. So hold it round to the right hand side. Dave Cam says go up onto that curb, but who's talking rubbish? Or maybe it's a different car. Sorry, Dave, if you're watching. Make sure that you're using the full camber afforded to you here by the track. Up to fourth gear. And we're just wanting to aim straight down this tree line. Over to the left-hand side. I'm going to be taking this corner flat out. Now, if you have got the wind behind you going into this corner, you may need to do a little lift. But I've not. I've got it coming in slightly from the left, so I was able to do it flat out. Nice wide entry. Getting up and kissing the inside curb without going over it. Legs are nice and wide. This is fine. Just don't go onto the gravel. And then we're back on the straight. And we're over and across the line in a 126.986. Finish with a nice flourish and then go home, have a sandwich. Right, full speed now from the chase cam. Okay, so we're, up. we're over on the left hand side. Looking for the bit between the two and the one cone. That'll kink. 
trail it off, down to third gear, back on the gas, hold it over to the right hand side, changing gear up at 133 ish, about 83 miles an hour, kissing that inside curve, exiting wide but not on the gravel, back over to the left to make full use of the track width on the entry. Looking for this tree, trail it off, down into third, back over to the left, little break, back on the gas nice and early. Very simple, very straightforward lap, should make for good racing. Okay, for those of you that are still here, you can sit and listen to the wheels. As always, thanks for watching. I couldn't do this without your support, guys. I will see you in the week. I've been Sambo Racing.